Hi, I'm Lisa Turlington, the Executive Director of the Sampson Community College Foundation. Today, we're continuing the Sampson Showcase Series with Foundation Director Gary Mack Herring talking with the Department Chair of Community Spanish Interpreters, Shelley Moore. Thank you, Lisa, and Shelley, too, for having us here today. And Shelley is, would love to share with us the information on the Community Spanish Program here at Sampson Community. Tell us a little bit about it, Shelley. Hey. Hi, Gary. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey, Lisa. Thank you for Thanks. inviting me here. Um, a community Spanish interpreter program, we have been active for about six years. Okay. We have an uh, associate's degree. Right. We have a diploma, which will go in effect in the fall. Uh -huh. um, and we have several certificates. Okay. And we, our main focus is um, not only teaching Spanish, we have a lot of uh, curriculum Spanish classes, we okay. have interpreting classes, mm -hmm. but our main objective is to help folks um, be able to interpret within the mm -hmm. community. And that's definitely a need, and it's definitely especially a need. in our area. Especially. We have folks, we, uh, we have folks that we have a need in the hospitals, the uh -huh. clinics, the schools, uh -huh. you know, local businesses, everybody has a small need. Uh, and that's what we hopefully train folks to do. Yeah, I bet you get a lot of local businesses calling you saying, hey, how can you help me? Yeah, you know what, not, not even just local businesses, but we also have like um, the plants and, uh -huh. you know, Smithfield mm -hmm. and all kinds, like there's a turkey plant mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. a chicken, yep, right. all, these all kinds of stuff that folks need and, uh, and that's what we do. We help train folks for that. Okay. So tell me about, you were saying earlier you have uh, three distinct students. Right. So let's, let's talk about them a little bit. Okay. I've got three types of students. I have my native Spanish speakers um, or near to native Spanish speakers who have been doing interpreting pretty much all their lives and they're finding that to get advancement or to get good jobs, um, they need some type of piece of paper that says Right. Not only can I speak English, I can speak Spanish, but I can interpret. And so they come here mm -hmm. um, and they'll get their certificates and some will get the degrees. Okay. Then I have folks who speak little to no Spanish at mm -hmm. all, mm -hmm. but they find that they're having lots of Spanish speakers come within their businesses and they want to be able to communicate and to help their clients. Mm -hmm. So they come to us for that. Some of them do get the degrees. Um, some are for certificates, and some just come to take several Spanish classes so that they can communicate. And then, as of recently, I've noticed we have a lot of college-bound folks that are coming because our Spanish courses are college transferable, mm -hmm. and folks are finding out, if I have to take Spanish at a university level, it would be better to take it at a community college and then cheaper, right. <laughs> transfer it, then have to pay the money for a four-year school. Good deal, so, good program, close to home. Exactly, and that's what we're finding out with our, our the three distinct types of folks. Okay, so it, I, I would be number two. Let's say I, I'm working in a, my, my business and, and we're getting more Spanish people in, so if I were interested, what, what would be steps I need to take? If I just wanted, I don't want a whole degree, right. but I want a few classes to, to brush up on my Spanish. So what would the steps I need to take? Okay, so you would, you would call me. Okay. And we would talk. I'd call you and we'd talk. We'd okay. call and you talk. Um, you come and we set up a program. Okay. Um, and so because of folks like you, uh -huh. what we've done is we've added, and it will be effective this fall, okay. is a diploma. Uh -huh. And what the diploma is, is it's basically Spanish classes okay. and the interpreting classes. Okay. There's no science, there's no math, there's none of that stuff okay. that okay. folks our age, we don't uh, want to take. Okay. <laughs> I didn't mean to call you up. No, no, you're fine. Okay, okay. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. I know what you're you want to come and you want to take Spanish 1 and 2 and 3 right. and 4 and uh -huh. conversation uh -huh. and reading. Right. And you want to interpret. You don't want the other extra stuff. And so that's why we added the diploma. Okay. Um, and then we have folks, for example, we have one class. It's called Spanish for the Workplace. And we've had folks who've come to take just that one class just so that they can communicate with the people. We've had folks that come from the veterinarian mm -hmm. place here in uh -huh. town. Uh -huh. um, folks that come from, I don't know, some, some plant. Everywhere. There's a turkey plant. Uh -huh. I don't know. But they just come in and take that one class uh -huh. just so that they can talk uh -huh. to the folks that are working with them. Okay. And that's how you've adapted to the community, you said. Right. So you've, you've adjusted it not, so it's not just one specific course. Right. You, you, you have a special course or special group of classes for the student. Exactly. And we've also adapted. We find, I find that um, one of the things that will go effective this fall is 
uh, certificate that's geared just to native Spanish speakers. Uh -huh. In the past, I've had my native Spanish speakers come and have to take Spanish three years. And, and they don't they need it, that. right? Yeah. And they know that. <laughs> so th this um, uh, this fall, we'll have a certificate that's just geared for native Spanish speakers or near native. They'll have a placement test, but we don't care about that. Um, and it's just the interpreting classes. Uh -huh. And I think that will help a lot of people. Uh -huh. Well, this is definitely neat as the makeup of our community changes and right. in, in our in employees and stuff like that, and employers. Uh, it's definitely need. So right. it's, it's great to see that you're adapting. We are. We're trying really hard. We've got online classes, face-to-face -face classes, evening classes. We've got hybrid classes. You know what hybrid classes? No, I don't know what hybrid okay. classes. Okay, hybrid classes. It's where been a while since <laughs> I've been. <to> class. <laughs> a lot of people don't know hybrid classes. Okay. Hybrid classes where like majority of the class is online. Okay. However, we still meet face-to-face -face, at okay. least maybe once a week, once every other week. Right. Because there's sometimes when there's folks who need that face-to-face right. -face uh -huh. conversation, but majority of the work is all online. Okay. And so we have, we've, we've tried really hard to meet all the needs of as many people as we can. Sounds like a great program. Sounds like you're doing a lot of, you have a great department, it sounds like. It's amazing with the department. <laughs> so, so, you, so you were talking to me in, in 2017, you have a goal. What, what's your goal? You want to? Um, okay, my goal, okay, 2017, here's a goal. We want to go to Costa Rica. Kay. That's the goal. Uh -huh. um, we wanted to do it before, um, but it was too short. Okay. I mean, because it's expensive. Right, right. So now we want to go to Costa Rica. We, um, It's a sun and service program in which we'll go for eight days. We'll spend two to three days helping out within the community. In the past trips, they've gone to schools and uh, played with the kids all day and helped rebuild the schools. They've gone into small communities and helped with the garden and help um, weed and plant and whatever the community needs. Um, one year they went and there was bad weather and the churches uh, within a small community had got, things have gotten torn down so they helped rebuild. So uh, we figure um, if we had the opportunity to go and help we should go. So we would go to Costa Rica, we would spend, you know, two to three days helping out within the community. Then we would do a little sightseeing. Mm -hmm. There's a volcano. I've never seen a volcano. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, there's um, a, a national park that has monkeys and iguanas and all kinds of things. I'm, I don't care about that, but it still would be fun. It would be fun. Yeah, and they got this thing where you get up high in the tree and you go shoo. Uh -huh. Like yeah. a zip line? It's like a uh -huh. zip line over the, the forest and so. I think it would be an awesome opportunity, and if we're all going and it's all in Spanish, right. it's a win-win. So that kind of reinforces the department. And exactly. It's not just and giving back to the community. Giving back to the community. It's giving my students an opportunity to be in a native Spanish-speaking country. Okay. Some of them have not left Sampson County. Right. So it sounds like a great opportunity. It's a hope. It's a and good luck. I, I, I'll keep my fingers crossed. Thank you. Thank you. You can go too. You know. Oh yeah. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Come on. <laughs> that would be a great trip. <laughs> come on down. Costa Rica's with us. Okay. Well, so anything else you want to add to the? Oh board? yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Okay. So I have three types of students. Uh huh. Um, and we do have a good time. Okay. But we're right. very productive. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've had students that have graduated who have gone on to. Um, four-year universities mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. business, in education. Um, I've had a couple who've gone on to nursing programs. Right. One is a nurse right mm -hmm. now in Fayetteville. Okay. I have one who started uh, as an interpreter for a small little clinic, and right. she's now uh, an interpreter at Samson Regional. Okay. So that's amazing. Uh -huh. And then, get this, I had one who started, got her two-year degree with us right. in my program, uh -huh. and now she's teaching. She's an adjunct. Here. Emily Phillips. Yes, That's she awesome. is. She's my adjunct. She's taught teaching two classes this semester uh -huh. and hopefully she'll be teaching three this fall. Well, so congratulations. Yeah. So it it works. So it's all about getting us out and in the community. Well, it's a great a great part, a great asset for this community, this college is, this department is. <laughs> we are tickled for and excited and, and appreciative of all the work that you do. Thank you. So uh, thanks for all you do for us and uh, Lisa, we appreciate uh, appreciate you. Hope this helped out. So. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Gary Mack and Shelley, for sharing that with our viewers. If you'd like to learn more about programs here at Sampson Community College, you can go to sampsoncc.edu.